Well, it was 1973, but we had no plans. There was no plan at all other than to enjoy yourself and and have a good time. We were just kids wanting to play in a band, wanting to make music. We had been writing songs. That was that was something that was separate, but we just wanted to, like many kids, just get into a band and and enjoy ourselves, and that's what we did. What were you paid for your first gig? Paid? I'm, I'm, we, I'm didn't, we didn't get paid. You didn't get paid when you first started? Uh, no. Yes, we probably did the first gig. You know, I don't remember. I don't remember, but not much. So you were based on, on the Isle of Skye? We were based on the Isle of Skye. The first gig was in Glasgow, because mm. we were students in, in Glasgow in the city. And the type of playing really, d or where you could play, dictated the kind of music that you, you played, because we played at, at community dances on the Isle of Skye. And that's the only way. You couldn't, you couldn't uh, get into a pub and perform a gig in the established sense that you would now. So it was just uh, playing for, for dances, for people to come out to dance to. So you had to play Scottish dance music. And in, within that, you played modern beat music as well, to, purely for dancing. So it was a mixture of all these kind of uh, A mixture of, uh, well, traditional music T traditional and, and music. 40 band? Yes, it was. But, but, it was uh, but we tried to, to give the traditional music a new energy or a, put our own stamp on it. But it was good fun. And how did it uh, go on? And then, then which, what was the, the kick that pushed you to... Well, there's, there's the two sides. That was the fun side, if you like. On the other side, which was more serious, although it was fun as well, was the songwriting, which, which had been going on long before that. And the, the two never really came together for quite a few years. And we started playing as a dance band and enjoyed it and did more of it. But we never used our own material until uh, about five years after we started, when, when we got offered a recording contract. And um, where we grew up, it's it's Gaelic language territory. And um, with a lot of feeling for, for the language, we decided uh, that our very first recording would be our own songs, but they would be entirely in Gaelic language, which is an unusual step at the time. It was quite, quite a political statement to make, uh, but it's one we wanted wanted to make. And that was the start of it. That was the, the start of integrating our own material into what had been the dance band and then the two things came together and a lot of the dance band rubbed away and, and we were left stripped with, with our own material.